Okay, my good friends here, uh, I'm going to send you this link um, in the video or like paste it somehow for you to click on, but um, I'll just put it in Google Classroom. But this is an exam demo. This is what your exam is going to look like. You're going to get uh, an email um, with your ticket to, to get into the test. So the first thing you're going to um, ask you, it says, for this exam, Emma, you can enter practice. For the real exam, your AP ID will be in the AP exam e-ticket that will email you two days before the exam. So in this demo, you just type in capital I practice here. Okay, so that's what you're going to do first. Okay, so it says, welcome to the demo, um, get started, etc." Gives you five minutes to fill in this stuff. And if I just uh, go through here, fill in my name. Yeah. They gave you five minutes, but it only takes like, um, like two minutes, really. So I just do all this. It's going to ask me to confirm it again. And it'll give you different choices where you're testing from home, school, other. So you just put home. Um, and then you have to agree to it um, right here. And then you get continue button. Okay, so Jared, while you're waiting, you've got three minutes before the test starts. They're going to tell you different ways to uh, that you can, um, you can submit your essay. Um, so you can attach a file. So what that means is if you work in Microsoft Word, if I had um, this up here and I um, worked in uh, Microsoft Word here, um, then I would save this if I put AP ID and then whatever XYZ and I hit file save this is just gonna and just if you do this just remember where you're saving it to so i'm gonna save it to this pc i i hardly use microsoft word anymore so uh, but there now it's saved okay so that's um that's one way you can attach a file. I I like the copy and paste. I like I think it's good for you to be working on in Google uh, when you're doing this. So you can also you can attach a photo if you plan on writing it. I don't know. Maybe some of you guys want to write. It's easier for you to write. Um, just how this exam set up. Um, I don't know. I it's all your personal preference. I I prefer type to writing that's just me but you can so this ad nauseum you can you can write about this um, so you can write and you can also copy and paste so copy and paste now sometimes Google will give you like a command so if this is just a, a document that I have up here because uh, I'm looking for good dates to give you. So what they mean by copy and paste is you work in a Google Doc, okay? Um, and then sometimes Google, instead of like, if I like right click it and do copy, okay? And then just I'll paste it when I get in there. Uh, my timer is almost up, I believe here. Somewhere, wherever, wherever the heck I'm at here. One of these, okay, 30 seconds ago. So that just gives you the option. So you have, this is, you're just kind of hanging out before they let you um, start the test. Attach a file if you, you save it, or attach a photo if you write it, or if you're like typing in a Google Doc, um, you just would select everything in your Google Doc and then paste it into the, the spot. Now, when I did this before, it only gave me the option to Excuse me. Okay, so now my time is up. Now your exam begins when you hit this continue button. So what I was saying when I uh, when I tried to uh, copy and paste before, they only allowed me to upload it. So um, this just says, this, 
On exam day, your question will display here. Here's how you, you should use the demo to get ready. Take five minutes to create a demo response. Include your AP ID and initials at the top of your response. If you're handwriting, include a page number at the top of your response. Write a paragraph or two telling anything you like about books lately. Uh, take five minutes to submit your demo response. Adhere to the submission guidelines. Um, this, so uh, this is, so what I did the first time, this is why it's good. Um, so it's always natural, I think, to go to, I don't know, some, I always go to the left sometimes, but I hit attach response. If you are just working in Google in a Google doc, you don't want to hit attach a response because if you do this, if you hit that, it's not going to bring up Google Docs. It's only going to bring up stuff that's like physically saved to your computer. So if you're working in Google, you want to hit paste response. Okay, now I have already copied something. So let's see what happens when I paste it. Right click, uh, paste. Okay, so that's exactly what I pasted before. Okay, my, um, my thing that I would be saying to you, my advice is just definitely double check that like for some reason like you think you copied everything um but you copied half of your essay okay that would be a travesty so go back and now when i copied it i was only copying like half the document anyhow so karen it's hard for me to tell where i stopped this looks about where i stopped but double check triple check if you have time that you copied and pasted the exact same information said so don't leave like half of your info okay so you got through all that you hit submit and it'll say you will not be able to return to the question once you com complete this step so like i don't know maybe your last second you want to think of something else to add I, I would say at this point you don't want to yeah i wouldn't go back and start changing things i would just hit submit okay uh this is question two so this is like for other types of exams if they have more than two questions and uh that that is it that's about it so i'm not going to go and wait for the timer so if you have any more questions let me know again pay attention to your email pay attention to the uh id let me uh show you something uh, what i would do if i were you no. And I I guess you can do this. I guess you can have this set up now that I think of it. But one thing I would have is they, they have you put your AP ID and below this, your initials. So what I would do is I would already have my AP ID and my initials ready to go in the document that I want to. Because this is where it's going to, I'm going to go through all that. And it's going to say, okay, here's your question. Uh, and then you can start typing. And then anytime you see a video from me, there's thousands of things up here. I would like really clean it up here. If I'm working on this AP exam, I'm going to shut all this down here. Okay. And uh, I'm just, I just want to have like, I just want to have my test where this is all going on. And then I want to have the spot where I'm writing where that's all going on um, and that that's why I have it. And if you happen to have like multiple computers, make sure you're like working on the same computer that you typed your exam ticket in. So, um, so what I mean by that is like, if you plan on like having two screens up, if any of you guys are that talented to have two screens, make sure that you're working on the same computer that you're, that, your exam is showing up on if that makes sense to you. Also, I would recommend uh, printing off the documents um, if you can. You have access to a printer. Make sure everything's plugged in, etc. Okay. So um, hopefully that is uh, helpful for you, and I will post this.